Hello and welcome my friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and welcome you to my February Angel Reading and Archangel Healing Session. Over a year ago, I believe, I started doing these readings. The angels, they were being very clear that we needed this information, guidance, and healing. Now more than ever which is very true right now, especially as we're still dealing with all that was brought out in 2020. We're trying to rebuild and restructure us from a foundational level. The angels and archangels, they're here for us and they're trying to support and guide us as best they can with our limited understanding of what it is they're trying to say and share. It's hard to hear and gain the messages from the high vibrational beings. We are a low vibrational being. We need to take that time, give ourselves permission to explore and reach out for this guidance and this support. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna reach out and explore what guidance, support, and healing the angels and archangels have for you. The decks I've chosen for this reading and this healing aren't really that shocking. I have the Angel Tarot, the Angel Inspiration Oracle, and of course, Healing with the Angels. Like always, I have a link below to all these angel tastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. The selections I have for this angel reading, we have some serpentine, rose quartz, and tiger eye. I want you to choose whichever crystal resonates with you right now. It may not be your favorite crystal, but it's the one that keeps catching your eye. And then head down into the description box below. There you're gonna find timestamps. Click on the crystals correlating timestamp it's going to take you straight to your reading, and I will see you there, my friends. Hello and welcome, my Serpentine friends. This reading is especially for you. Now, like always, I have the full decks of both the tarot and the oracle cards here, so you get the fullest and most comprehensive reading for you. Without further ado, let's see what the Archangels want to share with you. Now I am switching it up a bit. I am going to go with the healing of in the beginning opposed to at the end as I feel that it's going to be a better fit for the reading. So without further ado, what healing should my Serpentine friends focus in on right now? Oh, fantastic. Blessings. There are blessings everywhere. Miracles happening every day. All over. We just aren't paying attention. We don't see them. Or if we do see them, we're blowing through them and not acknowledging them for what they are. We need to be more observant in the present so that we can embrace and experience these blessings. Blessings are so fantastic. They encourage us, they reward us for all our hard work. It's time to be present for these blessings. Be open to the rewards that you deserve for all your amazing hard work. We don't want our ego to push us by it and not acknowledge how amazing we are and all that we've done, all that we've achieved. Focusing in on those positive aspects will help us to see these blessings, these miracles that happen every day and usually without us even knowing it. So taking that time, being open 
and being present to all these amazing opportunities, blessings, and miracles that happen in your everyday, that happen for you without you even knowing. So, now that we know that there's a lot of blessings in your life, whether you know them or not, or you can see them or not, let's see what further guidance we can add to these blessings. What guidance, support, and information do the angels have for my serpentine friends? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so nines in tarot are about all that we have in our life, all that we've achieved. This card usually depicts this amazing woman, an elegant woman in this beautiful, abundant garden. The Nine of Pentacles talks about those abundances, those blessings. The angels are very very clear here my serpentine friends we need to be focusing in on that positive on all that positive that's all around you that we're ignoring or resisting because it's in this abundance and blessings that you're going to gain those opportunities that you're looking for further growth that development those abundances and prosperity. What's more, that joy and fulfillment. We need to take time, reflect in on what's going right, and then be open to added sprinkles of love and support that are going to help to nurture and allow those aspects, those abundances to grow and to flourish even more. Focusing in on the positive helps to strengthen you, to invigorate you. It's kind of a win-win situation. We're not talking about a lot of random changing or altering of life. We're talking about being present and looking at what's going right. And then using our creativity, our knowledge, all those aspects of you to figure out how you can incorporate that more fully into your everyday. How you can add to that to see it grow even more. Working in the positive will help to overcome some of the resistances and challenges that we're dealing with. The Devil, the 15th card in the Major Arcana. It's a symbol of our ego, of what's holding us back. Now, in the original card that Pamela Coleman Smith drew in The Devil, there were two naked figures against this very quintessential devil figure. And there were chains around their neck. Those chains could easily be removed should those people have chosen to do so. And it's in the choice that the angels are highlighting the greatest importance. We can choose to focus in on the positive and what's going right, or we can focus in on what we're being challenged with, those obstacles, those resistances, those heavy weights that we're carrying perspective is everything. If we choose to focus in on the positive, you're going to see growth and development. You focus in on that low vibration, well, you're just leaving that chain around your neck. You're not going to see any movement. And it will become harder and harder to see the blessings that are in your everyday. 
And it may be challenging to list the abundances because we have abundance in all aspects of life, in our social, our family life, our community, our work life, you name it, creativity, the physical health, our mental health, it's there. We just might need a little bit of encouragement and some time to see how everything does have a little bit of a shining light to it. We have hope. The ego and the devil would like to squish that hope out of and squash it out of play. However, it's something that's innate within us. Focusing in on that inner flame, that light will support us. I do have a meditation that will help us with focusing in on that light, in our passions, in what's going right. That's a meditation I did with Archangel Uriel. Where that's what we looked at. Strengthening your courage and connecting you into your passions. Now, if you're new to my channel and aren't sure about my meditations, I have two meditative playlists. One is Healing with the Archangels, which of course is where you're going to find the meditation I just mentioned with Archangel Uriel. The second is my Just You and Me playlist, where it's just you and me, and we work on a tool or a skill that will support you. Now, all my meditations are about 30 minutes long. They're a guided meditation. And most importantly, they're free to you to use and revisit as often as you need. So back to Archangel Uriel. He's going to help to brighten that light within us, that inner passion, that connection and understanding helping us to connect in with our passions, our creativity, and what brings us joy. Archangel Uriel, his name means fire or light of God. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to help bring us into that light, rekindle our passions and our fire within. It's a fantastic meditation that will support us in delsing down the devil's control and empowering us helping us to see those abundances, that fun and fulfillment, because we're focusing in on what brings us joy and happiness, that creativity and expression of self, no matter what that creativity and expression is. Everybody has a very different creative outlook, and it doesn't matter what that creative outlook is, as long as you're able to express yourself, focus in, on some light, love, joy, and happiness, getting ourselves out of our head, out of those fears, out of that grind and burden, and into that creativity, we're going to see opportunities open. Those blessings come forward. We're shifting perspectives. When we shift perspectives, that's when we can start to create stable and foundational change within us. We're taking small steps towards what it is we want in the end, our end result. Oh yeah. Did I mention creativity? Did I mention we might need to like tap into that? I love it when I get ahead of my cards. Tarot is about that map, that guide forward. And when you get ahead of the cards as you're starting to flip through, you know you're on the right track. It confirms what it is that was just said. That creativity, that inner fire and passion. The Queen of Wands has it in spades. She is all that and a bag of chips. She uses her creativity and owns it. And that is exactly what the angels and archangels want you to do. You need to have that ownership, that connection into your creativity, giving yourself permission, time and energy to participate in whatever that creativity looks like. It's that expression of you. You're not hyper focusing in 
on those challenges, those worries, those fears. You're focusing in on something that brings you joy, that brings you happiness, that will also bring you the insight and guidance that you need, those blessings. Our ego doesn't have control when we're in our creative mind. We are open to the insight, the aha moments that the angels and high vibrational beings will share with us because we're getting out of our head and we're getting the heck out of our way. We're trying to grow, we're trying to develop and we gain a lot more blessings, a lot more support from the universe when we're doing something that is high vibrational rather than kind of stuck in the mud because when we're stuck here that's when the tower comes in that's when we're going to find the universe taking away and breaking down our right of free will and starting to kick us in the butt that lightning starts to strike and we have a lot more heartache and pain built in to the shifting here we have that control and choice which is a lot more easy to deal with than that stagnation and that kick in the pants because it's not fun. So we want to focus in on the blessings. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go on to the blessings. What blessings do the angels have for my serpentine friends? love oh yeah mm -hmm. they're going there it is time to love you for you and where you are on your journey that love will go a long way in nurturing and inspiring you forward allowing for that growth that development and prosperity that we want that we need and I know it's kind of hokey to say, yeah, just go love yourself. It'll fix everything. Well, in a way it will. When we take that time and nurture us, to love us, we feel stronger and more able to take on and battle the challenges and create solutions that are in our best interest. We're inspired, we feel healthy, we feel amazing. We're more open to even more possibilities, more opportunities. Now, like I said, I know it sounds hokey and can be a bit of a challenge to do. How the heck do you do that? It's pretty cliche. Go love yourself and be fine. One of the ways I can help you out with that is through actually three meditations that I've done with Archangel Shamuel. We focus in on that self-love. It's a good idea to start off with the first meditation. That way you're getting a good foundation with Archangel Shamuel and then working your way up. That love, well, it's an ongoing aspect of what we need to do. Another way, of course, for loving you is working in that creativity. When we're in that creative mind, we're doing something that we love that brings us joy and happiness. And that joy and happiness, it invigorates us, it strengthens us, and that is loving us. So taking it one step at a time. And like I said, balance is important here, guys. We don't want to hyper-focus in on either aspect. We want to work on different parts of self, making sure our physical needs are met, our spiritual, our emotional, our creative endeavors, it's a lot, but taking it one step at a time, scheduling it in if you need to, making sure that you have time for you. It will go a long way in overcoming what we need to overcome and embracing these opportunities. 
Archangel Raphael. I think everybody's heard of Archangel Raphael. He's one of the common or more common archangels. That healing. The meditations that I've been suggesting with the archangels, they're all healing meditations. And I have a specific healing meditation. It's actually the first one I did, I believe, with Archangel Raphael, where we were looking specifically at that healing and absolutely connect in with it. It's a fantastic meditation. You can visit and revisit these meditations as often as you need. You can scroll through that playlist and whatever Archangel, whether you know them or not, speaks to you, it calls out to you, try it. It's going to support you with loving you, encouraging and inspiring you, and of course, healing you. The stronger and more healthy you feel, well, there's nothing going to hold you back. I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me today and watching this amazing angel reading and healing. I hope that you found this reading fun and helpful and you're able to gain some insight and direction into what the angels and archangels want to share with you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps me be found on the sea of YouTube, which supports us collectively, starting to raise our vibration and getting ourselves unstuck. And if you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe. There's so much more coming your way and you don't want to miss any of it. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss out on any of this amazing insight, healing and education is through subscribing to my channel and hitting that little red bell so you don't miss a video. And also, if you did enjoy this video and want to support me making more, I do have a Patreon page. I have provided a link below so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my serpentine friends. Hello and welcome my Rose Quartz friends. This reading is especially for you. Now, like always, I have the full tarot and full decks of both Oracle cards here, so you get the most comprehensive and meaningful reading for you. Without further ado, Let's connect in with some amazing archangels and angels. Now, I am switching things up a little bit. I am going to go with the healing first. I kind of hate just adding in and tucking in the healing at the end of an angel reading because that healing is important. So we are going to start off with the angel. We are going to start off with the archangel healing and then connect in with that insight and guidance. What healing should my Rose Quartz friends focus in on right now? Oh, awesome. Oh, I love this card. Soulmate. So I know many of us get really excited about that soulmate card and some of us are blessed to have our soulmate with us others are still looking and that's okay we need to give ourselves and our soulmate time to catch up to each other to feel strong and ready for that amazing relationship Knowing, though, that our soulmate is there. No matter where we are in our world and in our life, and where they are in their world and life. Our soulmate, we will reconnect in with them when we're ready, when they're ready, and all is able to connect. We can't pull or drag them or try and cost them in any way we need to do the work for us on us to raise our energetic signature that will be a beacon a beacon of love and light to them as they will for us and those who do have 
and are blessed to have their soulmate with them. Utilizing that relationship for the greater good of the both of you. Nurturing and loving the two of you. Making sure that it is balanced and that it continues to grow with you and with them. It takes two for that relationship. So that balance, that duality, it's important. The archangels want you to remember that you are not alone. You have that connection, whether it be with you right now or something that you're striving towards. It's something that we need to focus in on. And when I say that, it may be direct or indirect, depending on you. That said, knowing that we have our soulmate, that amazing connection, well, let's get into some guidance. See how we can start to strengthen us, strengthening them, being all that we can and all that we wanted to be, because they too have a similar journey. What guidance? Whoa, that is important. <laughs> Wisdom and insight do the angels have for my Rose Quartz friends? Sometimes they get really excited with the cards. It's fun, as long as they keep it on the table. That's all I ask. I hate going under the equipment to find cards to make sure that I've got them all or <sighs> ensure I don't bend any of the cards as I'm trying to reach in between things. So, The card that really, really needed out, the Eight of Cups. Like I said, we need to be working on us, understanding us. The more we do, well, the more we're going to be that beacon for our partner, for that soulmate. That understanding that love, that light, it needs to come to us first. Then we can share it with others. Like on a plane, they say that you need to put on your air mask first before you help those around you. The same is true when it comes to that nurturing, loving energy. The more we love ourselves, the more we can love others. How we can start to love ourselves is by exploring and understanding us. It will support us with our relationship with our soulmate, with our friends, with our family. When we can connect into our authentic self and live a more authentic life, well, we're being true to us and understanding us, we're being more fully true to them. Our soulmate is connected into our soul, our authentic self, not to what we perceive or what we think is important. It's our energetic self. And that is what we need to understand the most. Those pieces and aspects that we've hidden, that we don't understand because we've avoided. We need to use this time to our advantage to start uncovering it. To start to understand it. Of course we do have the full snow moon in play. We're just starting to get to that entry in point of the full moon's energy. Plus we have the amazing Pisces energy. It's going to really help with that intuition and our understanding of self. Giving ourselves that time for us to explore, to reflect, and understand us. The Seven of Swords. That understanding needs to be clear and true. Our ego has put in a fluffy, puffy protection around us. It did so years and years ago. We started building it in as we started to connect in with others, we started to understand those quote unquote rights and wrongs. When we were told that that wasn't right because nobody could hear things 
Nobody danced with the fairies. We were being crazy and we needed to stop. That's when we started to build in that fluffy puffiness to protect ourselves. We started to shut down because we were afraid of what could happen. Or in other cases, we were afraid of what we were seeing or hearing because we didn't have that protection. We were small and inexperienced when it came to protecting us. No matter what brought on that ego starting to protect you, it's time to remove some of the layers. And like anything else, we need to do that very carefully and gently. Being gentle and nurturing to us, we start to rip off these layers and what's going to happen? Your ego is going to bring in and amplify those fears. Everything that we were afraid of will come forward. Persecution, uh, fear of what we saw or heard. We need to take it off slowly. And like I said initially, we need to love ourselves. Helping us to understand us. And one of the ways that I can support you in doing that, to give you more tools, more supports in understanding you, is through a meditation that I did with Archangel Mario. He's a fantastic Archangel that is connected to our astral family and historical wisdom. Archangel Mario and I collaborated so that we did reconnect you with an astral family member and a tool that you have forgotten that you have brought with you. Important aspects and supports in that journey. Understanding self, well, who's better than an astral family member who's been with you since the dawn of time? Has been with you, whether in the physical carnation or spiritual carnation, through lifetimes. So if you're new to my channel and aren't sure about my meditation that I just talked about, I do have two playlists. I have Healing with the Archangels, where you're going to find that Archangel Mario meditation, and then a Just You and Me series, where it's just you and me, where we go through a meditation and I support you with some skills and tools that will support you right now in what you're trying to achieve. All my meditations are about 30 minutes long. They're guided meditations. And most importantly, they're free to you to visit and revisit as you need. So Archangel Mariel will happily support you in gaining further insight into tools and connections that will help you out the most in understanding you and unraveling some of that mystery that lies deep within us. The Emperor. The fourth card in the Major Arcana. Stability, structure, and foundation. We need that foundation, that stability to go within and do some battling here because let's be honest our ego is not going to go oh what a fantastic idea this is all that protection that I've worked years to wrap around you you want to start taking off you want to understand that individual that's hidden within oh yeah big time helping out with that of course they're going to fight of course you're going to have that fear and that uncertainty the more stable we are, of course, the more we're going to be able to combat our ego, to combat some of that negative self-talk. So I have a number of meditations that I'm going to throw at you here. So the first one, of course, is a grounding meditation that I have in my Just You and Me series. It's going to help you with that tool to help with that stability, that foundation that we need. And if you're still feeling a little bit unsure and unstable after that meditation, I also have another grounding meditation that I did with Archangel Ariel. And she will ground you like nobody's business. So you can choose whichever grounding meditation that you would like to try or revisit and use it to your advantage. 
helping you to have that foundation, that stability. And once you have that inner foundation of stability, you can continue to encourage that energy to be with you through the use of crystals. Any red or black crystal will support you with that grounded foundation. Things like tiger iron or black obsidian are fantastic choices to support you with this stability, helping you to have that groundedness throughout your day. They're easy to carry with you. There are lots of different pendants and bracelets that you can purchase online or in many stores. And you can also go with a small polished crystal. You don't want the rough ones, the unpolished. You will more than likely poke yourself and not feel so good about it. But the small polished ones, you can tuck into your pocket or into your bra. The closer to your skin, the more effective it's gonna be. That's why we want the polished. And please do not be fooled. <laughs> Size does not matter. Sometimes the smallest crystals pack the most punch. So once we are grounded and we're stable, let's take on that ego, that inner negative self-talk. Another meditation I have is one I did with Archangel Raguel, where we balance out our thoughts and beliefs as self. That disarms the ego a bit there and helps you to understand you a little bit more. Because what your ego is bringing up, those fears, that heartache, that pain, that stems from something. You can start to unravel that mystery, taking it one step at a time. We don't want to hyper-focus in on this, guys. We want to balance it out throughout our day incorporating it in as we can. That's why my healings are about 30 minutes long. It's easy to bring in. You can bring it in in the morning, during lunch. If you have internet, you can get my meditations. You can close out your day with a meditation. Meditations have scientifically been proven to calm your heart rate, lower your blood pressure, and start to balance out the hemispheres of our brain. Rather than using the one brain hemisphere that we favor, we start to use both. So we're able to use more of that frontal part of our brain so that we're able to make some high vibrational, rational decisions rather than allowing our ego to push us into that gut reaction. When we're able to critically think and explore our situation, we start to be able to ask those harder questions about self, gaining the understanding about self, gaining understanding on how we want to go forward. And what's more, knowing how to do that. We have the emperor here in play. He talks about routine and structure. We need that routine and structure ensuring that we're meeting all our needs in all aspects of self so that we can have that stable foundation to grow from. So let's continue on this amazing journey and see what blessings the angels want to share. What blessings do the angels have to share? Oh, that's important. For my Rose Quartz friends. So the one that decided that it really needed out a lot, be tolerant. Tolerant of ourself and where we are on our journey. And what's more, where others are on their journey. Like I said, we can't force things. We can't push things any faster than what they're currently unfolding at. We can encourage them and nurture them through that work on self, but we need to have that tolerance. This is gonna take some time. 
it took time to get to where we're at. And it's going to take even more to deal and heal with some of the bumps and bruises that we've had along the way. This healing process, well, it's very much a process and will take time. Tolerance will help to nurture you and those around you. We're not pushing, we're not trying to pull them fo forward faster because we will cause instability in them, which will cause the ego to recoil, causing even more stagnation and even more frustration on your part. Faith. Having faith in self, knowing that you brought all the tools and abilities that you need for this lifetime. You knew what you're signing up for and know that you have those abilities. Unfortunately, a lot of our abilities have been packed away. We need to start to unpack them and use them to our advantage. Additionally, we have to have faith in the universe. I know it can be really challenging right now. We kind of feel like the universe is out to get us. However, that's the farthest from the truth. The universe is trying to support us in making shifts and changes in our lives, individually, and as a whole. That collective change. Hence why we've been dealing with what we've dealt with in 2020 and into 2021. Know there's a plan. Know that we have not the slightest clue what that plan looks like. And again, go back to that tolerance and be okay with it. We knew when we signed up for this, we would not know this plan. That we had a journey and an experience that we needed to, well, experience. And that's exactly what the angels are encouraging you to do. To start to unwind some of that fluffiness understanding you so you can experience all that you were meant to I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me today and watching this amazing angel reading and healing I hope that you found this reading fun and helpful and you're able to gain some insight and direction into what the angels and archangels want to share with you if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps me be found on the sea of YouTube, which supports us collectively, starting to raise our vibration and getting ourselves unstuck. And if you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe. There's so much more coming your way and you don't want to miss any of it. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss out on any of this amazing insight, healing and education is through subscribing to my channel and hitting that little red bell so you don't miss a video. And also, if you did enjoy this video and want to support me making more, I do have a Patreon page. I have provided a link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Rose Quartz friends. Hello and welcome my Tiger Eye friends. This reading is especially for you. Now, like always, I have the full decks of both the tarot and the oracle cards here, so you get the most comprehensive and meaningful reading for you. Without further ado, let's see what the archangels want to share with you. And I am switching things up a bit here. I'm going to start off with the healing rather than ending off with the healing. I find that I'm kind of just reverberating and re-saying what I've already said because it sums everything up. So we're gonna start with the healing. What healing do the archangels want my tiger eye friends to focus in on right now? <laughs> oh yeah abundance. 
focusing in on all those aspects and pieces that are going right. I know it can be a challenge sometimes because we're so hyper-focused in on the challenge on where we're struggling the most. Taking that pause and shifting gears, focusing in on what's going right. And what's more, how can you amplify this? How can you allow those aspects and pieces to grow and flourish even more? That is what the archangels want you to focus in on right now. It's going to help to shift that perspective, shift those gears, and bring in that abundance, that prosperity that you're looking for. You're not going to feel like you're struggling so much when you're focusing in on that positive, on what's going right. The universe will support you in this shift by bringing in more positive abundance, more opportunity for that prosperity, that happiness, that fulfillment. So the archangels are encouraging you to have a bit of a perspective change, shifting that gear towards the positive high vibration rather than that lower vibration that causes stagnation, that causes fear and heartache. Let's gain some guidance into this on how we can focus more on that abundance. What insight, wisdom, and guidance do the angels have for my tiger eye friends? The King of Cups. Kings, of course, they're that fully defined personality. They have the most control, the most power. Right now, we're feeling powerless. We feel like we have no control, and things are kind of hard and overwhelming. However, that perspective change it will start to shift the tides, if you will. Additionally, if we start to take control back where we can take control back, that emotional state, rather than reacting to stimulus to situations or people in a way that is low vibrational, so they bark at you, you bark back. You don't get anywhere. You cause even more stagnation, more low vibration. However, if someone barks at you and you use your skills and abilities and reflect it back to them in a manner that isn't confrontational. Wow, that's an interesting perspective. I never thought of that. I'm not sure how it will flow for me right now, but I thank you for that information. And then you move past that anger, that heartache and fear that they're projecting onto you. Humans are very empathic by nature. We see it with infants. It's just a lot of us have toned that out or ignored it and don't understand why we're so impacted by large crowds by people who are having crappy days and how it impacts us so negatively. When we start to put in tools and skills that are going to support us in dealing with the low vibration that settled in globally, with the panic and fear that people are projecting out there, well, we're taking back control. We're starting to shift gears. We're not allowing ourselves to be put in a situation where we feel overwhelmed as much. I know that can sound a little far-fetched and can be really hard to kind of connect in with. So I'm going to make break it down even more. 
One of the ways that I can support you with taking back control and protecting you is through a protection meditation that I created months ago, where we kind of put this protective bubble around you so that you're not so impacted by the seas that are going on outside. You have control, you have stability. You're more able to make high vibrational positive choices for you. And this protection meditation, it's part of my Just You and Me playlist, and it's a, about a 30 minute meditation that will support you with this protection. And if you're new to my channel and aren't sure about my meditations, I do have two playlists. Of course, I have my Just You and Me playlist that I just mentioned, and I have Healing with the Archangels. They're all guided meditations that are about 30 minutes long, and most importantly, they're free to you to use and revisit as you need. This gives you that added support and tool that will get you over that challenge and get you going again, get you focused in on what's really important. So that protection meditation will go a long way in helping you to combat some of that torrential sea that we're dealing with. It opens you up to the guidance and support of the high vibrational beings and your high vibrational support team. They'll help to be able to guide you to further abundances, helping you to see these opportunities and take them for your greater good. So that protection, that control over your response, it's going to be important. One of the ways that we can also add into that protection is through a meditation that I did with Archangel Michael. It's a strength meditation that helps to strengthen you, which gives you that added support and stability in overcoming some of these challenges. And let's face it, we can't stop the challenge. Actually, the challenge is part of why we're here. We signed up for a lot of this. I know it's hard to believe, right? But we did. We wanted to learn and experience different things. And some of that experience and that learning is patterns that we keep bringing back into each lifetime because we still haven't learned what it is we needed and wanted to learn. So knowing that, knowing that we're not going to be able to stop the challenges, stop those stumbles, we need to strengthen us. And Archangel Michael is there for us. He's an omnipresent being. All the archangels are. So they can be with you and me and everyone else that needs them all at the same time, supporting us in our different roles and different needs. So that strength, that protection, it's there for us. We just need to reach out and embrace it. Oh, and most importantly, ask for it. The high vibrational beings cannot come in and support us without us requesting it. Unless it's a life-threatening situation, then they can step in a bit. However, a lot of times we ask for it anyway, because we're like, <gasps> oh my gosh, and then they're there. So we have to ask. And even if you don't know what it is you need, you can just say, ah, can you help me? I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm lost. I'm scared. I'm uncertain. I need that stability, that strength. They'll be able to help you. Temperance. The 14th card in the Major Arcana. We're looking at that balance, that energy flow, ensuring that we are functioning at our utmost, making sure that we are grounded and stable, using one of my grounding meditations, and I've got med grounding meditations on both playlists to support you with that foundation to be able to work on some of this control and stability. That balance and energy flow. I have a balancing meditation in my Just You and Me playlist that will support you 
and aligning your chakras and bringing in that energetical balance where you are going to be able to make positive choices for you. Now, I know I've been really plugging my meditations, but these are tools. And before I had my meditations, which I've only had them for about a year now, I would encourage people to, you know, go ground themselves. Good luck with that. Yeah, you know what? You need to take control back. Find stability, man. Good luck. These tools are needed now more than ever. Meditation in itself has scientifically been proven to lower our blood pressure, reduce our heart rate, and bring balance to our brain. So opposed to functioning from that favored side, we're using more parts of our brain. We're balancing it out. We're able to ask those hard questions or critically think and create solutions that may not be quite as apparent as before because we're not taking in all the information. That's why that balance, that stability, that strength is needed. We have a lot of healing to do in this lifetime. We have a lot of learning to do in this lifetime. So combining the two is a fantastic conclusion or solution. Brings in that abundance again. We're starting to take control of how we respond. It's the only thing we can take control of. And we're starting to stand up and be active participants in our own lives. Making choices for our greater good. It opens us up to those amazing possibilities that are right there. It's just we're too caught up in what we're dealing with. That struggle to notice. Oh, how fantastic. The wheel of fortune. Things are shifting. We knew they would. However, it's just been taking some time. We need to use this time to our advantage, encouraging that shift. And the way we can do that is by shifting our vibration. The higher our vibration, the more we're open to opportunities and abundances. We're bringing in happiness and joy. And that's contagious because people around you see what you're doing and go, oh, well, I want what they're doing. Look at what they've got. Oh my God, look how well things are going for them. Things have shifted. I want that too. And then we start to see things shift as a whole. The more people who are intentional, who are taking care of themselves through critical thinking rather than reactive thinking, you will see that global shift happen for the greater good of all. That's the funny thing. When I say the greater good, people think it's very egotistical, but it's not. Greater good means you're aligning to your soul's deeper purpose, your journey that you signed up for. Our journey runs parallel to those around us, and they may crisscross and intertwine, but never does one become more predominant or more important. Working together, we are rewarded with way more abundances, way more possibilities, because collectively we have that energy shift. We are open as a whole to much more than what we currently are. So it is a win-win situation and no, your journey or my journey or whoever's journey isn't as more important than another. They should lift each other up rather than push each other down. That downward push or spiral, that's low vibration. High vibration, we lock arms together and we walk hand in hand. That is what's gonna really support us in moving us as a whole and as an individual forward. Now, let's look at and f finish off on some blessings. 
focusing in on that positive, helping us huh, go forward in a way that is going to be for your greater good. What blessing do the angels want to share with my tiger eye friends? Silence your thoughts. That inner whirlwind won't support you with taking control of your response. That inner whirlwind, well, it's brought on by your ego, trying to misdirect and cause uncertainty and instability within you. Calming our mind will help us to create a solution that is more meaningful for you that will help to align you more through that abundance and growth that we need. Now meditation will support you with calming your thoughts. I even have a meditation where that's where I focused my intention was calming your thoughts. It was a meditation I did with Archangel Jophel where we calm that inner whirlwind helping you to focus in on your creativity because creativity will help you to access the opportunities that are all around you. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but it's true. Follow me on this. So when we're focusing in on our creative endeavors, and I keep pointing to the King of Cups because he is a very creative card, as he has that intuitive creativity. So our creative endeavors helps to get us out of that whirlwind thoughts about that stuck hard situation we're dealing with. We're expressing ourselves through a modality, through a way that is meaningful for us. We enjoy it, we have fun, no matter what it looks like. We're able to get out of our head, out of those fears, those worries, and into that abundance and those possibilities. We open ourselves to those aha moments. When you are creating whatever it is you need to create, whether that be a cake or an art piece or a piece of writing or computer programming, it doesn't matter. Your brain is not in that low vibrational position. You've kind of geared up, you've shifted gears, you've shifted perspectives into high vibration. You're making something that matters to you. That in itself will support you in moving forward. It'll help to calm your brain as you start to give yourself permission and time to do so. Right now, most of us are so hyper-focused in on what's not going right or what we're challenged with that we're not giving ourselves permission to enjoy that creativity, enjoy what's going on right here and right now. These perspective shifts will create a, an amazing change within you. These would be stable and meaningful changes that are brought on by small shifts. Those leaps and bounds don't ever well, succeed. They aren't sustainable, they're not maintainable. Whereas the small shifts that we bring in, shifting perspective, focusing in on what's going right, focusing in on taking control back on how we respond to things, focusing in on our creativity. Those little pieces will go a long way in shifting gears entirely. And finally, compassion. Having compassion for you, for where you are, and how you're feeling. You are right and perfect for where you're at in your journey. 
you may not like where you're at and you may want that change. Huh? You need to start to shift those perspectives and that change will occur and you will evolve and grow. Having compassion towards self, towards what it is you're trying to do. When you love and nurture you, well, you're going to see that growth and development unfold a lot quicker than should you try and push yourself and negatively talk to yourself, that negative self-talk. We don't get anywhere. We just cause more frustration, more heartache. And again, we're not focusing in on what's going right. We need that love, that understanding and compassion to self to make the shifts that we're looking for that are going to be meaningful for you. Taking the time, giving yourself permission, and engaging in aspects, activities that are going to bring joy and happiness to you. When we balance out our day with that little bit of time for us, that compassion for us, you will be surprised at what abundance follows suit. I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me today and watching this amazing angel reading and healing. I hope that you found this reading fun and helpful and you're able to gain some insight and direction into what the angels and archangels want to share with you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps me be found on the sea of YouTube, which supports us collectively, starting to raise our vibration and getting ourselves unstuck. And if you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe. There's so much more coming your way and you don't want to miss any of it. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss out on any of this amazing insight, healing and education is through subscribing to my channel and hitting that little red bell so you don't miss a video. And also, if you did enjoy this video and want to support me making more, I do have a Patreon page. I have provided a link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my tiger eye friends.